What's up guys? Hey, if you ever wake up in the morning and you're super, super motivated, but then you get to work or to your office or whatever the case is, and you wanna crush the day, but you just don't know what to do, this video is for you. All right guys, so real quick, I, I've been through this a lot in my life and I talk to a lot of people and they all, not all, but a lot seem to have a similar issue. And it's the idea of like you're super motivated and you want to work hard and you want to grow your business, but then you get to work and you're like, crap, like what do I do today? Like what can I even do to get to the next level? And so I just want to give you some like two real practical tips. Uh, and the first tip is this. I do this every night. Um, I carve out about five or 10 minutes and I say, okay, what do I need to get done tomorrow? Like what are like the most important things that have to get done? And I simply put them in my notes here, but things like, uh, this morning I had to print my Everdoor direct mail routes, we're sending out postcards, I uh, had to do payroll, had to build out a content calendar for the week, had to map out our marketing plan uh, that we're going to be putting out for the marketing company this year, um, I had to uh, go pick up some of our products for our e-commerce business. Uh, those are the things that have to get done today for me, okay? Now there's other things on here that I would like to get done, right? Um, but those are the things that have to get done. So what I do is I type those in my notes on my phone and I put time frames next to them because I know roughly how long they should take. And then the rest of my day is wide open for whatever should get done. Now when I wake up in the morning, I'm able to open that phone and I have a exact list of things that I need to do that day. And the problem is, is most people don't really make that list at all, but if they do, they make it in the morning, right? And that's the worst time to make it because by the time you get into the office, you know, stuff's going wrong. And for example, today uh, we had, for whatever reason, a lot of guys calling sick. And I could have easily got distracted with that. But because I have a to-do list that has to get done, it was already created, I am not letting anything distract me from that. Tip number two, time blocking is huge. One thing I always teach people is I tell them that make your, your list of things that you have to do and time block those out. Now I'm talking right now about things that are recurring. So uh, if you're out handing out postcards, you need a time block for that. Doesn't matter, nothing gets in the way. No job gets in the way. Nothing gets in the way to, of, of postcarding or lead generation type activities. Time blocking is huge and I'll tell you what, a lot of you guys right now feel like you have no time. When you begin to sit up the night before and write the things that have to get done and then you time block everything out, you're gonna realize that, holy crap, I've got a bunch of free time because you won't have any wasted time. You take those two things, make a list the night before of things that have to get done the next day and write a time next to them of when they should get done and how long they should take. The second thing, time block your reoccurring activities, especially lead generation style activities. I guarantee you if you do that, you're gonna realize that you have a lot more free time than you thought. You can use that time to build your business. You can use that time to hang out with your family, do what you want. But those are two things that have really helped me and helped a lot of people that we've taught in the past. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.